What do you think of that? What do you think of it? A Porsche 911 GT3 body shell in Castrol race livery. <sighs> okay, I don't think a Porsche 911 has ever raced in a Castrol uh, livery. Not that I know of anyway. However, the 911 GT3 is one of my all-time favourite GT3 race cars. I'm a big fan of the World Endurance Championship and the GT3 class and all the rest of it. Um, and the Castrol paint livery is one of my all-time favourite race liveries. Plus, I do use Castrol Edge fully synthetic oil in my real car, so why not? Why not have a car going past while I'm filming? But also, why not have a 911 Turbo? Well, actually, a 911 GT3, because the GT3 race car is normally aspirated. It's not a turbo. Um, anyway, yes, I'm getting off topic. What do you think of it? I still need to um, sand around the wheel arches to get them nice and round, nice and even, but it's essentially finished. Uh, the wheel base was slightly difficult. Um, you'll see the front wheels are slightly far forward of the arch, even though I've trimmed the arch out. And actually the back, the front, did I say front? I meant back. The back ones, did I say back? I don't know, I'll, I'll see it in the film. The back ones are slightly far forward of the arch there, and the front ones are slightly far back, because actually the wheel base of this Camtech, it's not a Schumacher body shell, the Camtech body shell, isn't quite the same as the wheel base of the Atom 2 car. Very slightly out. So I've done, I think, as good as I can get. Maybe if I did it again, I would probably shift it ever so slightly forward uh, because the front wheel arch is not bad at all and the back one is a little bit, quite obviously, too far back. Uh, anyway, or too far forward, the shell's too far back and the arch is too far forward. You can see what I mean. But overall, it's absolutely fine. Um, I think I've done about just about as good a job as I could have done. Uh, this was done years ago. Years and years ago. I had I wanted to start this racing, oh, what, three years ago? Something like that. Two or three years ago. Um, didn't have the money. So I got the body shell, I got the motor, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. So this body shell has been sitting, waiting to be shown to everybody for two years or more, three years, whatever it is. Um, done by Shark Fat. Shark Fat RC Customs. So I'm finally happy to show off your work. Sorry it's taken so long, but um, I wanted to get it all done before showing off the body shell. I think it's worth it. Despite the fact that the arches aren't absolutely perfect, I think while you're driving it around at speed on track, that's gonna look awesome. It's gonna look so good. Um, for some reason, <laughs> what does worry me is I, I dropped in on the club a couple of weeks back. Couldn't go last week because I was away for work, but um, yeah, no one, because aerodynamics and downforce and everything matter massively in radio control car racing. And so people tend to drift towards either one body shell or one body shell concept, at least. Everybody ran mid-engine supercars. There was lots of Ferrari, lots of McLaren, uh, lots of fake cars, uh, you know, bitty design style racing fake cars. Uh, no one ran a Porsche 911, but I'm running a Porsche 911, damn it, and I think it looks great. In case you're interested, if I do watch the World Endurance Championship I, uh, or any sort of GT3 racing, especially endurance racing. I love endurance racing. Um, I'm always cheering on the Mercedes AMG GT3 teams, the Porsche 911 GT3 teams, and the Bentley Continental GT3 teams, because the Bentley Continental is awesome, just this big lumbering beast amongst all these lightweight, low down Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches. It's just a big muscle brute. I love it. Anyway, so yeah, I'm totally happy with it. And if you can hear a racket in the background, I do apologize. That's the scrap man with a megaphone and a transit van driving around the house in the States going, Get your scrap man hole. Like, yes, mate, we were well aware. We could hear you from five blocks away. Anyway, um, it's like the scrap man equivalent of an ice cream van. Although, technically then, you should be playing like Metallica or Iron Maiden or something rather than the <laughs> ice cream van jingle. Anyway, let's have a look underneath. I have tidied the wiring. So the car's done, essentially. Yeah, come on. Come on, ow, ow. It's all well and good trying to get nice small body clips that don't ruin the look, but they are a pain to get on and out, on and off, in and out, on and off, whatever. There we go, so I have done it. I've tidied the wiring there. I've stuck down the receiver. Um, I've put the receiver slightly that way. Receiver's, receiver's really light, really light, but um, for some reason, why? Well, it's because the servo's slightly that way. Um, naturally to get the servo horn down the center. Um, the car's slightly 
lighter on the front left than it is on the front right. So I've put this receiver slightly in towards the center. Um, you know, I'm trying to get the weight distribution as well as possible. Um, speaking of, it's not there yet because I haven't put any extra weight on it yet. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll know, to, you'll know that actually it's slightly underweight. It's still very slightly underweight. I need to go to the club and pick up some, they sell weights there. I'm trying to get the most appropriate weights for it. And I'll try and get the 50-50 weight distribution both front to back and also left to right. But we'll see. I don't think, I'm not going to get it exactly the same. Exactly right, exactly 50-50, but um, we'll get there as close as possible, hopefully. But it's looking good, isn't it? It's looking really good. I like it a lot. A lot. Right, let me put the body shell back on and then we'll go over to the corner weight system, as I keep calling it a weigh station. Um, essentially, that's what it is. And we'll see with the body shell and the body clips, etc., as it sits and runs in a race, how much it currently weighs and how much I'm going to have to add. Because I know I'll have to add some. Right, I'm not sure I believe that, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that. 977.8, it says. 977.8. So that's 28 almost grams overweight, even though yesterday it was 36 grams underweight. And all I've done since is add a body shell, some body clips, and I've also trimmed the posts away. So apparently that makes all, I don't think it makes that much difference. Also, um, it's shifted ever so slightly more rearward in the weight bias, apparently from 46% front to 45% front. Um, well, I mean, the receiver's there, which I believe is slightly far forward. It's, that's near to the front and the back, which is weird. And finally, it says here 259, there it is 259.7 rear axle right, 273.8 rear axle left. Well, oh, I keep touching the table and it throws it off. The table's not very stable, it's probably why. Actually, this house is squint, so that might be another reason why. Um, I haven't touched the back axle. It's, you know, it was closer than that before, closer than that yesterday. I haven't changed anything. I have added, obviously, the body shell and the clips, but they're the same left to right aren't they so yeah i think it's the because if i move if i move even if i move the chair around it throws the table off slightly but if i move the table a little bit you can see the numbers moving because it's not stable um yes a bit weird i'm not sure i trust that i did zero it um interesting i'll have to just check it at the race club to be honest i really hope it's not that far over oh there's a post I really hope it's not that far overweight, to be honest, because there are people there that are right on the 950 grams and that. Anyway, 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 there you go. There's a good look at it. Oh, it looks good. It looks so good. So good. So, yeah, I'll take it to the club and I'll make sure it's as close as possible to the weight if I need to add weight. I'm not sure I believe that because really, how many grams different? I mean, maybe. The body shell makes that much difference, maybe. But then why is the bias shift so far from left to right and front to, I don't know. Anyway, I'll put it on a more stable platform that's not this table and not in this house, which is quite clearly squint. I mean, you, you should see how squint this house is. Um, anyway, try it in a better place and see how it is. If it's overweight, that's a shame, but nothing I can do about it really. Um, I'm not buying a smaller, ESC having spent so much money on that one. Um, I'll maybe look at the lightweight spool, that'll knock some weight off and also rotational mass, which is massive. You lose whatever, I mean, this is in a real car, this this doesn't weigh as much as a kilo, but in a real race car, you lose a, a approximation, a, thousand, uh, a, a kilogram of weight rotational in terms of performance is worth about 10 kilograms non-rotational. Um, it's very loose, but you know. Um, so if we can lose some some grams from the rotational mass from the spool, that'll help. But then you lose the diff because it's a spool and I want to try and get this thing dialed to the point I'm happy driving it first because I've never driven a rear wheel drive race car before. I've certainly never driven a spool driven race car before. Um, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. So I'm going to go as easy as possible, keep the, get the handling nice and consistent and easy to drive first of all, and then we can start pursuing things like performance, etc. I've been 17 years out of the game. I'm starting from scratch. I don't know how good it'll be. So let's not just throw money at upgrade parts until you can actually drive the thing. So we'll see how, we'll just see how we go on. We'll see how we go on. At least for the most part, I'm going to have a car that looks the part, even if I bury it into a wall. Anyway, I'm going 
Go away, scrap man. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh, not bye bye. Rubber butt. Take that back. Um, Today's Friday, as I'm recording this, I'm on my lunch break now, so I've got to be quick. I'm hoping to get to the club tonight. So I don't know when you'll see this video, but I'm going to update you with how I get on. Anyway, so that's all. Take care. Bye-bye. For real.